What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the first episode of Q and A. Wow, a lot of videos I make take a lot of time. So every now and then, in order to fulfill the daily upload quota, if possible, I'll be releasing some quicker videos like this one, where I answer, well, in this case, your guys' questions. Yeah, so I decided to get dressed up since this video is gonna suck. Many of you guys have been asking, how do we know you really live in Hawaii? You guys say more. All right, Space Ranger asks, how did you start making music? Well, this could be a very long answer. I'm gonna try to give you the short version. It all started when I was a little kid. It all started, <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I started playing piano when I was like four or five. And then like I, I got, I was forced to do like piano lessons. So I was like 12 or so. I picked up music again in like college. I think I was like 18 or so. I, like just started college and I was in this music class because I had to take a music class. And I met a bunch of other kids that were all sitting to rap. So we would uh, all smoke weed in our cars and uh, freestyle after class. I was listening to some Flying Lotus beats and I was like, he's making this on his computer. I know how to use computers pretty well. And then that was the start of it. And I, at some point I decided I like making beats more than rapping. And then recently I started doing vocals again more too, so. What goes around comes around. Vocals. And I feel like that's basically the main part of the story you need to know. I guess I could go into a little more detail. From there, I started with FL Studio, maybe for like a week or two. So yeah, technically, I did make a beat or two in FL Studio at one point. I eventually started using Reason because a few of my friends were using Reason. And they just made it seem really good. And then maybe a few years after that, I started using Ableton to house Reason inside of. And then eventually, I just stopped using Reason altogether. And I just use Ableton now. The Reason to Ableton Pipeline. It's real. Uh, then I went to a college here for audio engineering, just a two-year program, but it was a really good program. And that's about it, really. Henny writes, how many inches? Well, I better give him an honest answer here. Let's check. Okay, so I'm about 76.8 inches. I know, pretty big, right? Then Gucci Mane, yes, the real Gucci Mane, writes, what that dick do? <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this is going very well so far. Well, it does basically just normal human stuff. DJ Susan who writes, what do you do to get the creative urges flowing? DJ, <laughs> DJ, what is a creative urge? What the fuck? DJ Susan who writes, what do you do to get the creative juices flowing? I drink Starbucks. This video is sponsored by Starbucks. That's really a complex question. I'll just start, I'll just start rambling and hopefully, hopefully I won't have to edit this too much and hopefully it'll be helpful. Okay, let's say I'm making a beat. I'm pretty far into it, but at some point I just have a creative block. I need to do more stuff to it. I'm not sure what I can accomplish. I can't accomplish the things I'm trying. I can't write a melody, yada, yada, baseline, whatever. There's several different ways you can go about this. I'm just gonna start listing stuff here so we could start throwing in loops here. Cause we gotta remember the end product is what matters, right? It's not always about your performance. Sometimes you can't perform. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I like to do if I'm finding myself in this situation is either try different things uh, or just keep battling it. That's another thing you could do, but I don't know. I feel like that's pretty dark to like to feel uncreative and then to try to battle against it until you can just crush your skull against it until you finally come up with something cool. You can do that. I've done it before, uh, but I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. Definitely super stressful. If you're really not feeling it and, you know, throwing in loops, samples, yada yada isn't working midi whatever maybe try taking a break you know put the song on the back burner if you run out of ideas or you can't make the ideas come to life maybe uh maybe it's time to take a break from the song however long it takes you to get it out of your head and to just like make it new so that could be like a couple days a couple weeks a couple months that's a good way to get a fresh perspective on it all right two chang writes how many marbles can you fit in your mouth i was actually going to try to check this like i was going to test it out on video but then I realized I could just end up with me choking to death on marbles on video, which would be a really fucking sad death. That's really, that'd be really bad. That would, um, hmm. All right, we got another one from Henny here. This one's actually a real one. This guy went for the, uh, he went for the whole questionnaire here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna break this apart piece by piece, obviously. Okay, my ideal studio. Well, it's just somewhere that where I feel comfortable. So that could be anywhere, as long as you have enough time. Uh, as long as you got the things you need to make music or to mix music or master music, whatever you're doing, then that's basically all you need, so. I guess if I wanted to make it more ideal than this though, I'd probably have a separate room. It's kind of hard to get rooms here in Hawaii though, because housing is very limited and expensive. I don't know if an ideal studio is even like a big space for me. I mean, I don't want it to be extremely small like where I am right now. I mean, <coughs> actually we're in a really big studio right now. Never mind, this is the ideal studio. You're looking at it. Now, what's some dream gear I need to have? I think if I had more space, I'd start getting more 
things to jam on i just i just like having fun with music sometimes like i don't even want to get stuff that i normally use in music always like for instance i've been wanting to get like an electronic drum kit just to jam on don't know why it just sounded fun to me uh then i wanted to get a bass guitar i might end up using that in music i'm not sure yet but again just sounded fun to me i feel like i don't have enough space already i mean <clears throat> because the studio is so big and there's so much other shit in here you know what i mean it's not because i'm in a small room right now in Hawaii. I'd also consider getting some analog synths too. At the moment, my setup's a little sparse, but I have basically everything I need. Have you ever thought about making original soundtracks for movies slash games? You know, technically I did actually use a bunch of like shitty dubstep songs I made like 10 years ago on like a TV show here in Hawaii. I didn't get paid very much. So, I mean, it sounds cool when I said it like that, but I got paid like 200 bucks for it. It wasn't very good, but it was just like some local TV show, like, you know, Nothing crazy. So while I was editing this, I actually decided to look up that TV show and uh, actually found my music in it. So if you guys wanna see me react to that, my music from 10 years ago, uh, let me know down in the comments. I mean, if I got an offer for it, I'd consider it, but it's just like, I wouldn't really like spend a lot of time working on it personally, cause I'm like, I'm too involved in too many other things at the moment. But if I had the opportunity and I was getting paid for it, obviously I might be interested. Actually, I also helped my friend do the soundtrack for some indie movie. I don't remember what it was called, but it was back when I used to make dubstep. I used to make melodic dubstep, dude. It's gonna come back again. <laughs> it's not gonna come back again. But yeah, it's not really a world I've like really tried to dive super hard into. Mostly because it seems like a lot of unpaid work at first. So it's kind of, it's a little scary. But then again, that's what music is to begin with. Unpaid work and scary. <laughs> Incorporated.